Yo, 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 how are we doing everybody? It's time to play Pokemon Red. Any percent glitchless. And none of my buttons are working. That's always interesting. See if I can fix that. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I set everything to be D input instead of X input. Alright, here we go. And <laughs> yo, Magic Enforcer in here with the height. How you doing, Magic Enforcer? Hopefully you're doing good. Alright, this is going to be the greatest run of all runs. Which, you know, is totally what Saturdays are well known for. Saturdays, you know, where there's like two days in between streaming, four days in between Pokemon Red runs, generally, which actually it's, uh... We only did one day of Pokemon Red runs last week, I believe. And yo, Tint Doctor with the get good? Yo, how you doing, Tint Doctor? You will get very good. Yo, Magic Enforcer saying good, man. Picked up some new comics. Enjoyed a rainy floor today. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. Yo, what comics were you picking up? Anything awesome? I mean, I wouldn't really know. Like, I haven't been looking at comic books in a while. The last comic book I looked at is the one I have on top of that, uh, Mega Man canvas thing. The, uh, the Sonic one? Yeah, it was a free comic day or whatever. And I didn't go to the comic book store. A friend of mine did. They're like, oh yeah, I know you really like Sonic. And so they gave me the uh, Sonic comic book. I was like, oh, that's cool, man. <laughs> and yo, a nerd's in here. That EV wave emote. Yo, that's pretty cute. And Stalker says, so are we ever going to have a schedule again? Yeah, if I would like remember to post it, that would be like pretty cool. Um, oh, whoops. Really bad movement. Uh, Magic Enforcer says, New Avengers, Walking Dead, and some indie book I saw a review on. Okay, okay, yeah, no, that sounds pretty cool to me. I mean, obviously I don't know what the indie one is, but it's indie in and of itself, so that's interesting. Yeah, New Avengers, Walking Dead, good stuff. But yeah, like, pretty much what the plan for this week is, is, uh, Pokemon Red for Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Which is what? That's the 22nd? So, I don't know what I'm gonna do on Monday. I haven't decided yet exactly. The nurse says I got like 100 comics on free comic book day. But you haven't read a single one? <laughs> Are you serious? Yo, you're just stacking them up? I will have all of the comics. All of them. Let me see, what am I working with here? Oh yeah, I know, I can just go to the games list. Easy peasy. Yeah, the 24th is Wednesday, right? Or no, that's Thursday. Okay, okay. And yeah, I will be doing just a variety game on uh, both Tuesday and Wednesday then. Because I want to do Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, but... I can't play that game if it's not out yet. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. Oh, that was a good fight. <laughs> I wasn't paying a lot of attention. Apparently that was a good fight. Yo, Blue Dragon? Yo, Blue Dragon's a very, very good game. I don't think I'll start that one just yet, though. Um, what am I doing? Oh, just normal stuff. Oh yeah, I was trying to figure out which one of these games. We got, uh, Zelda. Yeah, Zelda Breath of the Wild's at the top. It's 97 votes total. Not too bad. 87 are, uh, already locked in. The second next to that would be, what, Pokemon Black 2, White 2? That would be a lot of fun. I would like to do Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. But it's a 35-hour game, so... I think I'll wait a bit before I start that one. Because it's like I want to play Bloodstained Curse of the Moon when that comes out. So I figure I don't want to like start Black 2 and not like finish it. What is Bloodstained? Yes, it's an NT Creates Castlevania. Exactly. NT Creates, they did um. Uh, Mega Man 9 and 10. They did Mighty Number no. 9. Uh, they did Azure Striker Gunvolt 1 and 2, Blaster Master Zero, uh, Mighty Gunvolt, Mighty Gunvolt Burst, 
And I'm sh oh, and the Mega Man Zero series. So like, yeah, they do a lot of Mega Man games. It's kind of their thing, man. But I believe they're ex-Capcom employees that used to do the Mega Man X games. The good ones, anyways. Alright, so... Oh yeah, Punch-Out! Punch-Out needs to be near the bottom, because I'm not going to be playing that one for a while. Um, Chrono Cross... Uh, that's another really long game, so not starting that one quite yet. Um, Ogre Battle... Not as long, but still. I'm trying to do something, like, short. Oh yeah, Mega Man Battle Network's completed. That one needs to be near the bottom, because we already beat that. Shadow of the Colossus? Oh wow, Shadow of the Colossus is really short. I also don't own that game, so I uh, have to look into that. Yeah, Shadow of the Colossus, we could totally do that if I had the game. How much is Shadow of the Colossus remastered for PS4? Does anybody know? That's a very short game. Um, Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, super long. We'll get there eventually. One day. Let's see, Super Punch Out? How long is that one? Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Again, pretty short. Yo, know, despite that bad movement, this is a pretty good pace right now. This is really good pace, dude. Really, really good pace. Can't complain. Yo, Gunvolt's 12 hours? That's pretty much perfect. Uh, I need him to move out of the way, and he's just going further left. Yo, rip, man. I should have. I should have, like, adapted faster and just walked to the right. But I didn't. I just kept walking left and hoping that he would, like, turn back around. Rest in peace. It was 40 at launch, you imagine it's at least 30, 35 now? Okay. You yeah, know, I'll probably go pick that up. Um, not for like this week though. Alright, um. Super Mario Maker. What does that beat? The easy PZZ7 level. Oh boy. I'm sure that's going to be so free. Did I get an in? Yeah, nice. Alright, so not the fastest first split, but could be so much worse. And yo, Catrolli is saying, yo, Vinx, what's good, man? Hope you've had a good week. Did you ever actually beat Battle Network? Get good. Also, yo, chat. Yes, we did beat Mega Man Battle Network. That game was a lot of fun, man. And the ending was crazy, dude. The ending was so crazy. Easy peasy six hours? Yeah, it's it's easy peasy. It'll just probably take about six hours, that's all. That's all. That's easy peasy. And then um What else do we have going? Yeah, Mega Man Battle Network 2, which obviously I really wanna do. Um, I don't know. I'd say I'll probably either do Zelda, or I'll do... What was it? I'll either do Zelda or Azure Striker Gunvolt, I think. Yeah, Azure Striker Gunvolt's short, right? Oh wait, no, that's two games. Yeah, it's Azure Striker 1 and 2? I don't know. Maybe I'll do Battle Network 2? Uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll look at that some more. I'll look at that some more. What's next for the variety games? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. I want to decide what I want to do on Tuesday and Wednesday. I, I should have figured this out before today, but I, I didn't get around to it. I don't know. Alright, how are we going to do this, Mr. Weedle? Oh, ouchies. Why not Super Punch-Out? Oh yeah, how long was Super Punch-Out? It says it's three and a half hours. That's super short. I could do that. I could do that in one go. Oh, I'm gonna die. Let's not do that. I could do Super Punch-Out. 
Oh, whoops, I tail whipped again. I meant, to, I meant to tackle. The text was a little bit faster than I was expecting there. Oopsie doopsies. Aw, oh, this is such a slow... Such a slow Weedle fight, man. Feels bad. Um, I can't do Wonderful 101. I don't even have that game. Um, yeah, just looking at hours, it's like... Shadow of the Colossus, but I'd have to go pick up that game. Uh, Super Punch-Out's even shorter, so I could probably do Super Punch-Out. But then what would I do on the next day? Because, like, Super Punch-Out's gonna be, like, a one-day stream game, if it really is that easy, that short. Can it really be three and a half hours? Because they said the original Punch-Out was three and a half hours, too. And it definitely wasn't. That was inaccurate. Yeah, I put, what, like, 10 plus hours into Punch-Out? I'm pretty sure, oh, whoops, I didn't switch my Pokemon. I'm pretty sure I put 10 plus hours into Punch-Out, so that 3.5 can't be as accurate as it says it is. Is that what, like, howlongtobeat.com says? Is this a no reset run? Yeah, I'm thinking no reset. I think that'd be a good way to start it off. Oh, both games are six hours in Nara, so it's like 12 hours total? Oh, okay, okay. That's good then. It should be short, considering you get good, but how short is really short? Charlie says, I mean, I think Super Punch-Out is easy. I mean, you got super bodied in Punch-Out, I think that's short and easy too. Yeah, I don't know, man, I don't know. What does howlongtobeat.com say? I can spell punch out. Yo, tackling me? Why well, you gotta do all that? You punch out. Uh, Super Punch Out is listed as three and a half. Mike Tyson's three. So yeah, no, I would think um, going off the times here, I would imagine that Super Punch Out is actually like a 10 hour game instead of three and a half hours. The punch out time for how long to beat uh, is that times four? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, 12 hours is probably much more accurate. Probably much more accurate. Like, I can't believe they're listed as three hours. Like, if you can do every single fight, like, on your second try, like first or second try, maybe? <laughs> how, how can you do that three hours if it's your first time ever playing the game? I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand how you could beat that in three hours on your first blind playthrough. Alright, this uh, isn't the best, far from the worst. Far from it. Alright, what do I need? Oceans. Only team 34 and option battle style set. Uh, Controller says Super Punch Out has a total of 16 fights, 4 fights per circuit, and you should be able to beat minor in 20 minutes. It will get more difficult, but it really isn't that difficult. Also, the max length of a match is 3 minutes, and they are much easier fights than Punch Out. Well, if they're much easier than Punch Out, like I assume they are, because I remember playing Super Punch Out as a kid. Like, I didn't get very far, because, like, I wasn't super into the game. I also didn't own it. <laughs> it was not my game, it was my uncle's game. I could only play it when I was at his house. And what little of it I played, I didn't think it was that hard, but again, like, that's just a minor circuit? I don't really know how the difficulty increases. I'm told that it is easier overall, though. I don't know. I don't know, I'd, I'd have to play it. I'd have to play it. The only thing I know for a fact is that the howlongtobeatit.com time for the Punch-Out! series, in my eyes, is pretty inaccurate. Versus, 
Like, I don't know. So far when it's come to, like, RPGs, RPGs have been, like, really, really consistent. When it comes to platformers, I think it depends on, like, how popular said platformer is. If it's really popular, the time seems to be accurate. But if it's not popular, the time seems to be very inaccurate. I think uh, the time is really more for, yeah, uh, in those cases, is for, like, people that, like, love the game versus people that are playing it for the first time. And Doctor says, good lord, Inviso, he's on a 30 plus ad streak for bits and you haven't gotten any bit ads in over a month? Yo, it just depends, man. It just depends. Yeah, I'm gonna potion. Probably says, you don't have to get super timing for star punches. You just have to hit them and not get hit. It's not as much of a puzzle game as the original. The opponents have more moves. They're easier to predict. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, that sounds good to me. That sounds really good. Yeah, I might do Super Punch-Out then? Maybe? But then if I do Super Punch-Out, what would the other game be? If I can beat Super Punch-Out in one stream, what can I do on the next stream? Like, let's say Punch Out, or Super Punch Out is like six, seven hours, right? So imagine it's like a six, seven hour game. You also don't have a manager telling you to join the Nintendo fan club? Yo, that helps! That really does. Um. I could do one of the Azure Striker Gunvolt games, or I could do the Super Mario Maker, easy peasy level. I'm not going to try to speedrun Gen 4 for Pokemon. <laughs> that's that's going to be a woozy, man. I'm going to have to like do a lot of practice for that, I think. I mean, Gen 3 wasn't too bad, but I don't know. I'll have to look into it. I'll do Shantae Half Genie Hero. That would be pretty cool. And Doctor says, as long as you're thinking about games, I can only recommend my scale license challenge. I mean, like, I could do Zelda, but it's like, I'm pretty sure it's gonna take two streams to do the Zelda thingy. I don't think I can do that in one stream. Like, I can Super Punch-Out. So, what can I do in the other stream? If we do Super Punch-Out on Tuesday, what would we do on Wednesday? I don't know, I think the answer... I think the answer might be Shantae. I don't think I was supposed to use Horn Attack, or Leer, I mean. I don't think I was supposed to use Leer there. Two streams only if you're bad? Well then, two streams for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, again, what could I do in one stream? I'm thinking, uh... Yeah, I don't think I'll pick up Shadow of the Colossus yet. Like, for all I know, men, I don't know PlayStation games as well. I wonder, like, if there's any sales or anything like that. Good look out for that. Um, yeah, Super Punch-Out on Tuesday. And then either Shantae, um, Azure Striker Gunvolt. I could do one of them. I could do, like, Azure Striker Gunvolt 1. Yeah, I might do that. Oh, whoops, <laughs> I'm just walking into him. Shantae's a lot of fun. Yeah, Shantae's a good game. Yeah, uh, Super Metroid? Yeah, no, that's listed as 10 hours. Uh, Fury? Oh yeah, I still need to get that game. Wait, Radita? Wait, what? Radita. I'm fighting the last. Gosh darn it, I was so distracted looking at my list. I fought an optional trainer in Route 3. Whoops. Whoopsie doopsies. Whoopsie doopsies. That was, uh, that was not intentional. Oh boy. Nah, clearly it's all the strats, man. All the strats. I wanted the extra fight? Yeah, nah, man. This guarantees, uh, Thrash before Minky on Nugget Bridge. That was the whole plan. Also, I have no more, uh, no more horn attacks. This is bad. This is 
is really bad. If I can get like one crit on Metapod, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And miss the tackle, because of course I do. I mean, at least I'm in red bar, yay! Oh, I have Poison Sting now, though. That's true, I, I didn't even think about that. I don't know how much damage Poison Sting does, but I'm pretty sure it would get the job done. I think. Let's see. Hmm. Not quite the three hit I was looking for. I knew it was super effective, but... Yeah, the numbers just aren't high enough. One day. Alright, no Jigglypuffs. No Jigglypuffs. Hey, no Jigglypuffs. Fancy that. Alright, you wanna come with, guy? You wanna join the Pokemon Adventure? You know, I'm sure he's legit. Yeah, there's Celeste as well. Celeste is 14 hours? Okay, that's way too long. Gosh darn, I don't want to name Spiro. That was not on purpose. Yeah, when is Shovel Knight King of Cards coming out? I would love to do that. That currently does not, uh, does not exist. Get Jiggly with it? I don't want to get Jiggly with it, Catrolius. No Jigglypuffs. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, Back to the Future's in there! I forgot about that! I was supposed to watch Back to the Future. I completely forgot that was a thing. That is hilarious. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Gotta go watch Back to the Future, Minx. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, it's slated as 2018? Okay, that's fair, that's fair. It'll come out eventually. And uh, I think... Hmm. That's pretty much between Shantae and Azure Striker Gunvolt. I'll do one of those on Wednesday. I'll do Super Punch-Out on Tuesday. That's the plan. That is the plan. Okay, what up, Paris? Yo, man, sometimes, sometimes you got them all. Back to the Future is a great movie trilogy. It is, it really is. <laughs> and yo, Fortnite saying hi. How you doing, Fortnite? But yeah, like, I haven't watched Back to the Future, dude, in like... I don't know, I want to say over a decade, but maybe I saw it at some point earlier than that. Um, no, nah, I don't think I ever watched Back to the Future while I was in Australia. So if it was before that... I don't know, did I watch it after I finished high school? No, nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, I think it's been more than a decade since I last watched Back to the Future. I've seen all the movies, I just don't remember them extremely well. Not really. Uh, Vankles, did you ever Hado the Lizard? Oh no, I completely forgot about that too! Gosh darn it. Yeah, no, nah, you had like this really good bet with me and everything, but nah, I just completely forgot all about it. Completely forgot. Rest in peace. Oh well, that's, that's okay, it's, it's not that big a deal. Would've been cool though. Would've been pretty cool. Completely forgot. Uh, Super Sensei are saying, Super Gen 1 you, how's it going, Banks? Yo, it's going really good, man. Just playing them video games, body and all the peoples. Uh, trying to decide on um, the games that I'll be playing on Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh, oops, I horn attack too so bad. I meant to run away. Gosh, darn it. But um, I think I'll do Super Punch Out on Tuesday. And I'll do either Shantae or Azure Striker Gunvolt on Wednesday. One of those. Saved by the memory? <laughs> Yo, man. My memory is mad OP, dude. If there's one thing I can do, it's forget things. It's my super secret. Am I trying to beat a record? I am hoping to beat my personal best. But, we're not on the greatest pace to do that so far. 
I mean, it's still very possible on this run. We're a minute 27 behind coming in Route 3. And uh, we're probably going to lose a... No, we are losing time here in Mount Moon as well. So it'll probably be like 140, maybe two minutes behind, depending on like if I have a bunch of encounters. So uh, that'll probably put me at like a 154 in the possible best time. Shantae? Yeah, I'll do either Shantae or Azure Striker Gunvolt on Wednesday. I just haven't decided which one yet. They both seem pretty cool. It's like on the one hand, I want to play Shantae. Because, you know, I've played three of the Shantae games already. They're pretty fun. But then, on that other hand, I've been saying I was going to play Azure Striker Gunvolt for, like, some years now. And it's a Mega Man-esque game, and I love Mega Man games. So it's like, I kind of have to play it, right? I don't know, man. Then that's, like, a good setup for, uh, playing Bloodstained Curse of the Night, because I definitely plan on playing Bloodstained Curse of the Night when that comes out. I don't know if I'll do a stream on Thursday, because I believe it comes out on Thursday. But I want to play that game, like... I love Pokemon, but uh, everything's gonna have to take a little bit of a pause for me to play that Bloodstained game. I wanna check it out. I mean, obviously, if I beat the game really fast and it's like meh meh fun, I probably won't put too much time into it. But, you know, time will tell. We will see. Love that the uh, recent sub is auto mod. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Pretty hilarious. Right, where's my moonstone? There it is. Uh, Controller says it'll happen again. It works best when he isn't paying attention, which is a lot. <laughs> yeah, I don't pay attention all the time. Automod still hates you? Yes. Of course, Automod, don't worry. I'll have my day. <laughs> Yo. Good on you, Controllius. Automod doesn't have a sub badge, though. Yeah, no, I think, I think he gave the subscription to someone else that also has the name Automod. I think that's what happens. I don't know, you'd have to ask Twitch. Twitch is weird. He definitely gifted a sub to someone named Automod. Somebody. I don't know, because it's weird, right? Because like with Automod, it's like a capital A, capital M. The recent sub, it's all lowercase. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. I don't know, I, I don't think it's that, but it's still weird. Which letting a person name themselves after a bot is the thing? Yeah, nah. Sounds about right. But yo, when does, um... I know this is completely unrelated to what we were talking about, but when does Star Wars, uh, Solo come out? Or Solo, a Star Wars story or whatever? When does that come out? I've recently watched- Oh, snap! <laughs> Yo, Catrolius gifted a tier 1 sub to Auto Mod Bot. <laughs> They've given 32 gift subs in the channel. Yo, Catrolius, thank you very much. Hair, take the bribe, you dirty little bot. Yo, clearly, clearly it has been bribed now, right? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, it's May 25th for Solo? Okay. And the 25th, that's Friday, right? Oh man, I want to go watch that movie. I really do. It's like, I really, 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 really love Star Wars. I recently finished reading a book called, uh, Star Wars Lords of the Sith. Which, oh my goodness, that book is so good. It was so interesting. Because you have, like, Vader and Palpatine, like, working together. Cause they like crash land on like this foreign planet it's pretty cool and then um yeah i finished that and you know i'm constantly you know just looking over all the uh rumors and stuff for like episode 9 and people's interpretations of episode 8 stuff like that and then uh yeah i rewatched within like the span of oh whoops yeah within the span of like two weeks I've rewatched um, A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. So, like, I'm, I'm so ready. I'm so ready for Solo. 
You must test if auto mod still hates you. I don't know. You might be good there, Catrolius. I think you might be good. Catrolius says, Vinx, you being family friendly makes it difficult for me to prod auto mod while staying within your rules. Nah, man, it's really easy. All you gotta do is say, like, I wonder if I can beat Merrick in a children's card game. If you can say that, and auto mod doesn't, like, you know, hide your message, then I think you're good. And, uh, Tenth Doctor says, conversely, oh, whoops, I forgot to go to the bike shop. I've been going back and playing the N64 Rogue Squadron, kind of fun. I've never played that one. I'm told it's really good. I know a lot of people really like it. It always says, Vinks, read the Thrawn trilogy. Oh, wait, I remember what Automod won't let me say. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Rest in peace. Still doesn't like Yoasti. I don't understand why it doesn't like you saying yo to someone's name. <laughs> that is what I expected. Automod doesn't like Asti, who isn't here. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. But, uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, you were talking about the Thrawn trilogy? Is that Legends or Canon? Is like... I I know a lot of the books are like legends now, but I've heard of Thrawn trilogy. I know that's really good. And then there's um, and then there's the aftermath books as well, which I think are currently canon. I think it's there's a lot of stuff. Yo, Abra, out of my face. Uh, Inertia says, were you ever going to change your name back? Oh, what, Catrolius? <laughs> I don't know, man. Now, Catrolius says, it's Legends. It was canon when Disney took over. It became Legends. Okay, okay. Got you, got you. Oh, and you can change your name in, uh, two weeks? Oh, what's the, uh, full time span for that? Yeah, you've been Catrol gift sub since, like, Fire Emblem. That was forever ago. Get out of here. <laughs> you might be counting down the days? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's cool, man. Oh, it's five months? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Has it been that long? Nah, it can't be that long. We were doing, uh... We were doing, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and, uh... What else were we doing? We are doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Super Metroid in like December and then like going from December into January is like when we did uh, Tales of Symphonia Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it was during Fire Emblem I think Fire Emblem was what February maybe March you have no sense of time? Yeah, that's fair. You forgot about Duel Links? That was a lot of fun? Yo, I really, really like Duel Links. I had a lot of fun with that game, but I felt irresponsible playing it. Because, like, there were some people that were watching my stream, and, like, they were like, Oh, Duel Links, let me get into this. And then they started spending hundreds of dollars on the game, and I'm like, Nope, I'm all done with this. I'm all done with this. I'm not trying to promote games that, uh, you know, people can sink hundreds of dollars into. No good. Cause it's like, it's like Star Wars Battlefront 2, man. I wanted to play that game so bad. Cause I love Star Wars! And I love Star Wars Battlefront 2, the first one. That's so weird to say. But I love Star Wars 2 Battlefront... <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. That, uh, so this new one that was coming out, like, you know, you get to play as stormtroopers, you get to play as clone troopers, you get to play as the droids, you get to, um, uh, what else was it that you were doing? You were doing something. Uh, you got to play as, like, the Jedi, right? You can play as Luke Skywalker, um, I believe, uh, Rey, whatever her last name is, you can play as her in the game as well. And I'm like, yo, this is awesome, you can fly around in TIE Fighters. Yes, this is, this is what I want. But then, you know, there's all that, like, pay-to-win stuff. 
in loot boxes. It's like not only are there loot boxes, but they're pay to win loot boxes. And it's like, oh, really? Really? And then, yeah, I was thinking about it. I was on the fence. I remember posting about it on Twitter. And I don't know who it was. I want to say it was... I want to say it was Anura. I think it was Anura on Twitter. And he's like, don't don't go down the dark side, thanks. Don't do it. Keep your convictions. And I was like, okay. Oh, I should have used the rare candy before, Minky, but whatever. And now, uh, let's see. Controls was saying it falls into a category of game like uh, Puzzle Quest that you have a slight addiction to playing don't want to do anything else, so you had to stop. Yeah, that's fair. And then Nerd says, I started playing Duel Links again after months of uh, not playing it. Then you remembered why you stopped? <laughs> yeah. Did I ever play Rogue Squadron? No, I've never ever played Rogue Squadron. Um, I believe it is a game where you are in planes and you shoot the other planes. <laughs> that is all I know. Uh, you want to play Shadow of the Empire for N64? Of course I do. I got that game when I was like, how old was I? Eight? I was like eight or nine years old, dude, and I got Shadows of the Empire. I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, the N64 game? Wait, is Dash, I think his name is? Oh man, I poured so many hours into that game. I was not the best at it. I can still remember like trying to make certain jumps. And I would just fall into the abyss, attempting to make the jump. I was so bad at it. But I got there eventually. Invizo says, Vinks, I just got the same ad 61 times in a row. Yo, are you serious? Yo, that's crazy, Invizo. Yo, congrats on getting all the, all the bits, dude. That's awesome. 61 ads. Yo, there are people that can't get two ads, let alone 61 of the exact same ad. Yo, you broke the system somehow. Teach me your secrets. In time here, saying to be fair, the new Battlefront 2 has fantastic space combat. Exactly, right? Like, it has good qualities to it, so I wanted to play it. But I didn't want to be, you know, part of the problem of, you know, a consumer base that's willing to buy games. Oh, wow. What was that? Uh, up. <laughs> Catrolius has sent you a gift. I wonder what this is. Oh no, I used Horn Attack on Geodude. Geodude, why? No, Geodude, don't. That's weird. My Steam is not showing me. I have a vague idea of what it could be. Here, my Steam opened up and everything went crazy. And yo, Invizo, with all the bits. Oh my goodness, 600 bits. 600 bits. Here you go, friend. Uh, your stream gave me all of this, so I'll pay it forward. I'm also scared Twitch will find me and take this back. So have it before... Oh my goodness, sorry, I'm trying to read this. Uh, I'm also scared Twitch will find me and take this back, so have it before they can't take it back. Six whole votes to Battle Kid, please. Yo, let's go, dude. Let's go, man. With the 600 bitty bits. And yeah, no, what... Oh, where did the message on Steam go? Did it disappear? It was right here a second ago. Let's see. Uh, I don't know how to find it. It was there and now it's not there anymore. But I'm guessing Catrolli has gifted me that Shadows of the Empire game that's on Steam? Is that on Steam? Yeah, they, there it is. There it is, Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. Activate, yes, one of those. Oh no, not Quick Attack. It only does 5 damage, did you guys know that? Did you know Raditz's quick attack only does 5 damage? Cause I didn't know. That's a lot of ads, yo that's so many ads, Inviso OP dude. You watch 61 ads, that's what, that's uh, that's 30 seconds of ad, right? you won't quick attack me, got a mad yellow dude. But yeah, like uh, that's, yeah that's like 30 seconds per ad. So that's like, what, 300 seconds for 10? Oh my goodness. That's, yeah, 300 seconds for 10. So, 300, 600, 900, 1,200, 1,500, 1,800. That's, uh, that's a lot. Ooh! <laughs> We're still alive! We got quick attack by the Pidgey too! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, I'm still alive with my 1 HP! Let's go, dude! Let's go.
Uh, let's see, Invisa said I had to sit through the perception mix 60 times. You started watching at 6.50 p.m.? Yo, that's crazy. Crazy, dude. I can't believe I'm alive right now. The luck is real. The luck is so real. Oh my goodness. I was a little bit distracted because, you know, Invizo's, you know, watching 50 million ads and giving me 600 bits purely from ads. That's crazy, dude. 600 bits just from ads. Like, that is so much dedication, dude. That is so much dedication. And yo, Austin using the super T roll and saying no. <laughs> Rest in peace, Austin. It couldn't last forever, man. They were good times. Oh, whoops! I talked to him a second time. I'm bad at video games. All right, all right. Potion, potion. You know, Vinx is just lulling everything. That is a way to get back time. Yo, man. It wasn't supposed to go like that. It just worked out. Worked out real good. Just chilling and enjoying the stream. Yo, glad to hear it, man. Yo, uh, Petrolius just gifted me a game, man. He bought me, uh, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, which is a game I used to play all the time as a kid, dude. Like, I got that game on N64, and, like, you know, I wasn't, like, a super avid, like, Star Wars fan at the time, because, you know, I was just a little kid. The Star Wars movies were movies that my parents would watch, and I would watch them, you know, as well, while they were watching them. Like, I, as a kid, I watched all of A New Hope. I can, I can remember that one pretty vividly. Empire Strikes Back, I would always fall asleep after, like, the Hoth fight scene. Like, the Hoth fight scene was, like, really cool, and then it would, like, slow down, and I would fall asleep. And then, um, and then Return of the Jedi, I'd seen all of that. But, like, again, you know, I was watching them on VHS. So, like, I didn't watch them a bunch of times. They weren't my movies, they were my parents' movies. But, uh, I did watch them. But then when I got that game, dude, because, like, I still love the idea of Star Wars. Like, I wanted to have a lightsaber. I'd pretend to have a lightsaber all the time as a little kid. And, uh, you know, just flying around in the... All the planes and whatnot in the X-Wing. Just pretending to do that stuff. Like, my favorite games in arcades. Like, I remember, like, whenever you go to an arcade, it would actually have, like, uh... One of those machines where, like, you would sit in, like, the giant chair and you have, like, the little piloting thing. And you could, uh, and it would do those fights. It would have, like, the fight for, um, the Death Star, the fight for Hoth and stuff like that. It was so good, man. So good. And, uh, Trombone's saying every quick attack from the beginning of Nugget Bridge to Bill's house does six damage or less. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough. Oops, movement's hard. <laughs> Mostly, uh... Or does Misty hate you now? Misty's so chill, dude. She's so chill. She knows that she's like my favorite gym leader. I was so happy to see her come back in the, uh, the Pokemon anime. Like the Sun and Moon episodes. I haven't watched them, but I saw on Twitter, like, because people were posting pictures of it. And I love uh, the style, dude. The style is really cute. Win through Xdefend? Oh, did I win through Xdefend? I, like, I'm so distracted right now. So distracted. All the, you know, the Shadows of the Empire, the 600 bits, purely through ads. Purely through ads, dude, that's crazy. You know, Dash and Drew saying, my man coming in hot with the Pokemon. Yo, Dash and Drew, what's up, man? How you doing good, sir? Nice to see ya. Yo, how did I get through an X-Defend? Did I, like, crit Misty or something? Because, like, if she uses the X-Defend on turn one, it should take three hits of Thrash to knock her out. And the odds of her knocking me out in two of those turns is, uh, extremely possible. Like, very, very much so. Uh, Tense Doctor says, if you like flying Star Wars combat, you should check out Rose... Rogue Squadron, it's on Steam too. Okay, okay. Well, out of the two of them, we're probably gonna play Shadows of the Empire first. I love that game, man. Yeah, I remember watching the speedrun of it at uh, GDQ. It was so cool, man, because it was like, wow, they're playing this super duper old game. But like the part I checked out, like, like it was mostly just me enjoying the nostalgia of seeing this game I haven't played in a while. Because they, they weren't really doing anything speed-rific. They're on this train and 
They just had to, you know, ride the train. They couldn't do anything to speed it up. It was cool, though. I was sad I missed the, like, Hoth fights, man. That's like the... Like, you start, you know, on Hoth in those fights fighting the AT-ATs and stuff, man. Oh, it's so good. Oh, the extra fight helped for the X defend, you guess? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Um, no, no. Because I didn't, um... I didn't rare candy early. I didn't rare candy early like I was supposed to, so I got rid of the experience I got. I was supposed to rare candy before Minky, but I didn't. And so I hit level 23 at the same point I normally would, which put me back at, like, the base level of, uh, experience for the level. Invisa saying, So, Vinks, I heard you wanted to play Battle Kid this week. Oh, wait, hold on. Dashy Drew with the 500 bits. Catch them all. Yo, Dashy Drew, dude. Yo, thank you so much, man. Oh, jeez, you guys are way too nice to me. Yo, catch them all. Gotta catch all the Pokemon, man. We're gonna, we're gonna get that... What are we gonna get? We're gonna get Sandshrew. We're gonna get, um... What are, what are other people's, like, favorite Pokemon? We're gonna get... Gyarados. We're gonna get Moltres. I know how people love Moltres. Yeah, all 36,000 of them? Yeah, there's quite a few Pokemon uh, today. There really is. There's so many Pokemon, it's ridiculous. Um, and Vizzo was saying, So Banks, I heard you wanted to play Battle Kid this week as a thank you for all the pit- uh, all the bits and time I put in. Yo, where is- where is, uh... Yo, did you update that Tenth Doctor? I don't know if he's still, like, updating all the things. Did you update, um, that game? <laughs> and yo, Osti with the 10 bits. Get hype! Yo, Osti! Also in there with the bits. Thank you very much, Osti. Yo, super nice, super nice. Um, Battle Kid, Battle Kid, Battle Kid. That is... Oh, I only have 26 HP. I'm a little bit worried. A little bit worried. Ugh, I saw Battle Kid just a little bit ago. Where did I put that? It's gone. <laughs> Where are you, Battle Kid? Oh, you added Battle Kid? Okay, oh yeah, no, it's all the way up here now. That's why I couldn't find it. I was looking too low. Yeah, Battle Kid's much higher. Oh, and it's a short game. Um, Confused, use the rush, yes! <laughs> Let's go, dude, let's go. Oh, that was lucky. All right, so I guess, I guess it's, oh man. All right. So now, it's kind of split. Like, I think I'll still do Super Punch-Out on Tuesday. But on Wednesday, like, that's three games I'm trying to decide on now. Should I do... Should I do... Um, Azure Striker Gunvolt, Shantae Half-Genie Hero, or Battle Kid? Which one of those games should I play on Wednesday? I'm trying to decide. Like, they're all short games, so I should be able to get them, you know, done just like that. Yeah, Dash and Drew gets five votes if you would like to see one of those games as well. Uh, the game is kind? Although you're behind a lot? Yeah, the game is kind, but I'm behind by quite a bit. Like, the game was not gentle going into, uh, Route 3. Also, Mount Moon was, like, oh, jeesh. <laughs> Mount Moon was atrocious. It was a shame, because, like, I did everything right, but still lost quite a bit of time there. Alright, going into the Pokemart. See, what am I buying? Super Potions? I'll buy three of those. And then I'll, like, some Repels. Take three of those, too. That'll do me here. Alright, hopefully I can save some time on this split. That would be nice. Alright, move the Pokeballs to the bottom for the Repels. HHMO1. Air Slam Cut. And then TM28 contains Dig. There you go, old boy, Paris. And save here. Okay, no worries. Uh, and Vizzo says, it might be a lot to ask, but could you do Battle Kid on a Saturday instead? You won't be able to stay up on Wednesday for the whole stream, most likely. Got you, got you, got you. Um, I will... I'll think about that then. 
Um, grab this. Alright, so far so good. Do we have the manip? Yeah, we're good. We're good, no worries. Trombone says you're getting lucky with the four turn thrashes. First with Misty, then your rival. Should yellow it with Surge. Yo, you gotta yellow, right? Isn't the only way to live life is to yellow? I think it is. Yo, yeah, Dash Injury wants to see Battle Kid. All right, so oh no, we didn't, we didn't get the, we didn't get the one hit on Voltorb, dude. I'm pretty sure like it's an 80% chance to get. I think someone told me that it was an 80% chance to get the one hit on Voltorb, and we're just not getting it. But if I can get this four turn thrash on Raichu and it crits, okay, didn't get that. And hit myself in confusion. I'm still going all in there. <laughs> give me, give me the. Oh, confuse no more. Perfect. Perfect! I'm in red bar and everything! This is great. This is great. This is awesome. I don't think it could have gone better than that, honestly. I don't think it could have gone better than that. That was really good. Really, really good, dude. Go receive Team 24! Ain't Thunderbolts. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm out of here, guys. You gotta go. That was so fortuitous, man. So fortuitous. It was like, the first time I hit myself in confusion, I saw I did 15 damage, and I'm like, whatever. <laughs> Let me just try again. And then I snapped out of confusion, dude. It was so good. So good. Yo, received a bike voucher. Alright, I'm all done talking to you, old man. A time save though? Yeah, really good time save. Alright, so I need to go grab my bike. Then we're going to move uh, the bicycle to the top. Not all the way at the top. We're going to replace potions, I think it is. Whatever's in the second slot. Whatever's in the second slot goes to the bottom. Then we teach Thunderbolt and Bubble Beam. And we're good. Alright, get rid of that. Team 24. Trying to learn Thunderbolts, but can't learn more than four moves. Well then, forget Leer, dude. Yeah, I kind of messed that menu up just a little bit. We scrolled all the way to the bottom. And yeah, Thunderbolt, I'm gonna do the best if that's the third move. My muscle memory is built around that. It's like, it doesn't really matter where Thunderbolt or Bubble Beam are. I'm just used to them being in certain spots at this point. Alright, so... We've yellow thrashed this far. That means we have to... <laughs> do we yellow thrash again? Or do we not? I mean, I didn't get the four turn thrash on Surge. So clearly I have to go for the four turn thrash here. It's like in the rules. It's a 50-50 chance. It's a 50-50 chance. Uh, Invisus is not sure if you saw my last message or not, Binks. But if you can't, don't want to do a Saturday. We can do Battle Kid in July when you're on summer break. All right, um, I'll give it some thought and figure out like what works out the best for uh, uh, for you and for me, Inviso. No worries. And yeah, always yellow. We did it, man. We did it. Oh man, I would have been real salty if I died there. But you know, that's just the nature of Pokemon. Sometimes you take risks, they pay off! Or they don't, but this time it paid off, so that's good. Very, very good. Alright, so I do need to be a little careful. As long as I'm using the right attacks, I'm fine. Sounds good? Nice. But yeah, with that being the case, then yeah, for Wednesday, it's between, um... Shantae, Half Genie Hero, and Azure Striker Gunvolt. I'll do one of those on Wednesday. Either the Mega Man-like game, or the... Hmm, what would I call Shantae if I had to, like, describe it as, like, something else? Um... Hmm. Ah! <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. That's, like... I mean, the closest I can think of, uh, Shantae would be, like, Super Metroid. 
Only way more magical and girly. <laughs> Super Metroid, only if Samus was a magic girl. <laughs> I think that's the best way to put it. Oh, whoops. Went one tile too far to the right. This fight, you have to go for four turn thrash regardless. Can't you just horn attack? Alright, what's up, Cubone? Want a bubble beam? A bubble beam? I think he did. Oh, I leveled up out of a uh, stupid red bar, dude. I'm gonna try to horn attack Slowpoke. I don't know if he can kill me at 21. Maybe he can. Oh, I'm in there. I'm in there. Yeah, leveling up out of red bar is the worst. Hey man, sometimes you gotta take a confusion to the face, man. I need that red bar. Speeds up the game, man. Oh man, I know my Celadon's gonna be bad. My Celadons are always bad. Risking a super effective hit? It would have been fine. Uh, the Slowpoke does less damage than the Cubone does. Cubone is... Pretty ridiculous. Uh, Trombone says you can horn attack, but then you risk very annoying status ailment and it's really slow. Well, I mean, it's like, it's a risk either way, right, Trombone? It's like, if uh, you go for the horn attack, then at the very least you're not confused, right? Because if you only get the three turns of Thrash, if you go for Thrash, you only get the three hits, then you end that and you're confused. So the odds of being uh, paralyzed or whatever is even higher versus not being confused. Woo! That was super trashy movement right there. Super trashy. Made it across though. We do take those. Yo, Bean Jr.'s in here. Saying, uh, my little sister's streaming? Oh, is she? Yo, that's nice. I know she's been trying to, like, stream more regularly, so I'm glad that's working out for her. Trombone says four turn thrash is less of a risk, believe me. I mean, it's less of a risk if it connects. Because, uh, let's see, if you get to the fourth turn, right? You get to the fourth turn, and then you flip a coin, heads or tails. If you get tails, that's your chance to be paralyzed or whatever. Versus, uh, heads, you're good. And then, um... Let's see. Versus using the, uh, horn attack, which I believe is not guaranteed to one hit. You hit that, and then, again, you instantly have that chance to be, uh, paralyzed or whatever. But again, that's just dependent on if they use that attack. I think it's a th one out of three chance. If I remember it. I think it's a one out of three chance on if they'll, uh... Or no, I think it's 2 out of 3 actually, because they have both Sleep Powder and Poison Powder, and then whatever the third attack is. So I think it's a 60% chance? Yeah, no, I, I guess you're right. Because it's like... I mean, I don't know, it's tough. It's like, it's a 50% chance on if you'll get that fourth hit with Thrash. At the same time, if you land that, then it's like, it becomes worse. So like, you have a less of a chance of being... Uh, status affected if you go for the four turn thrash like you're right about that But if the four turn thrash fails you have a higher chance of failing And doctor says lol she's streaming herself watching something else. <laughs> oh is she? Yeah, that's interesting and uh bean jr. Says hey Vinks, have you enabled low latency mode? Uh, it's a new thing and works surprisingly well. No, I have not uh, used it yet. You have answered your own question? <laughs> nope, that AVI? Yeah, no. Ooh, quick attack from Vulpix, interesting. But, um, I was thinking about it. I was thinking about doing this low latency thing. But I was worried about it, and I was like, eh, I'll try that another time. Because my connection's been, like, really unstable, regardless, and it's like, I think my connection would be worse if I'm doing this higher demanding thing, right? Alright, where is 
the item. Should be right here. There it is. Jeez. I think I might have miscounted that. Yo, got an elixir. He's watching Wadi doing something? Oh, is he doing like a tournament or something? Alright, so I gotta do some Celadon City. Yo, Trombone's saying some things. Oh man, I'll read all of that as soon as I'm done with this. Alright, Team 07. Thank you. And then, uh, two nuggets, would you like to have these? Yes, they are for you. And then you, good sir. I have some repels? I'm thinking, like, 10 super repels. That'll do me. Yeah, we got the repels, we got, uh, Team 07. Need a polka doll. You would be willing to spare that. Thank you very much. Oh man, everybody's saying all the things. I will catch up with you guys in just a bit. I gotta do this stuff first. Or I'll lose all the time. Alright, got the soda pop. Can I read it now? Get out of here. Alright, she's very thirsty. Here you go. Here's some soda pop. It's for you. Go team 48. Alright, and then buy the fresh water. Thank you. And what do I do? <laughs> Gosh darn it, BG. 11x accuracies. 5x speed. And 2x special. Perfect! Alright, we out of here. Now let's see, Trombone, if you get para turn 1, then each Thrash has a 50% chance to connect. Use uh, Thrash turn 1, only the 4th Thrash has a 50% chance. Yeah. But again, there's only his... Uh, 30 something percent chance? Yeah, there's a 30% chance I believe you'll be paralyzed and a 30% chance that you'll be put to sleep. No, oh, but then again, the other move Bellsprout has is Rap, but no, it's Oddish. Oddish is the first Pokemon. What's the move that Oddish has? Alright, let's see. Elix Fossil, move that to the bottom. Then Teach HMO2. Move up X speed. Move full restore as well. And then use a super repel. Move that. Yeah. And then what am I looking for? Team 48. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're gonna horn attack. And let's fly out of here, guys. Places for squares. Unvisit saying also, thanks. Today was Community Day in Pokemon Go. I decided to play it since it was Charmander. Got sit a uh, nine uh, shiny Charmanders today. Yo, congratulations, dude. Bean Jr. saying five days till my tier one sub expires. Yo, fair enough, man. And now trombone in either way, it's slower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's risk management. But I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's it's not a good situation. Like, the best thing is just to use Thrash and you get all four hits. That's what you want to see. I have 7 HP. I could die to Ivysaur, couldn't I? Um... I don't want to die to Ivysaur. I'm on TV for crack? <laughs> Yo, sometimes I'm on TV. It does happen. Um... I don't know how much damage Ivysaur does. I haven't the slightest clue. I have 10 HP. Clearly that's enough. Clearly. Or I'll just crit Ivysaur. That'll also get the job done. Divine Whip, and I'm dead. <laughs> well, that shows what I know. Oh man. Uh, Squirtle, go. 
Yeah, I, I didn't know how much damage uh, Ivy Sword dealt. I was like, there's a chance he could kill me, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Is he gonna kill me? It's all you, Spiro. I believe in you. In any case, that girl's a run killer? Yeah, she's not nice. You know what also is a run killer? Ivysaur. <laughs> when you have 10 HP and think you can survive the Vine Whip. The, the secret is you can't survive the Vine Whip. Gosh darn it, man. Feels really bad. Yeah, no, nah, I think I'll still just finish the run regardless. That's how I like to do. The first run of the day has to be a no reset. Has to be. But yo, could you knock out my Paris a little bit faster? <laughs> Not if you heal before arrival? Yeah, I should've healed. I should've healed, dude. I had the super potions, I had potions as well. I very easily could've healed before the rival fight. The only thing stopping me was I chose not to. I was like, nah, I'll make it. He'll probably just use Leech Seed and I'll be fine. You know, when to be YOLO, always YOLO. You know, why not just Red Bar forever? But it didn't work out. It <laughs> didn't work out. I've been really lucky up to that point when my luck ran out. At least I bought all my stuff before I died. Uh, Bean Jr. saying, oh, by the way, Vinks, I bought myself a Pro Controller. It ain't cheap. Costs close to $100 here. The Joy-Cons are just too much of a pain to use, especially with matching buttons. Yo, nah, I agree, man. Uh, I have my Pro Controller. Okay, here it is. Yeah, I don't know how well y'all guys can see that, because I'm, like, <laughs> not looking at my OBS. Yeah, nah. I love the Pro Controller. Because, yeah, like, speaking of Pro Controllers, yeah, let me actually bring up OBS so I can see. Oh wait, wait, I need to use Bubble Beam. But it's like, I'm using my Switch, or not Switch, my Wii U Pro Controller to play this game. And I also bought the Switch Pro Controller. Like, I love Pro Controllers. They're good controllers, man. They just are. <laughs> you Red Bar, because it's faster. How's that working out for you? <laughs> not too good. Charlie says, well, after that failure, I'm going to go play something. Get good banks, don't be super trash, and have fun, chat. Yo, thanks Catrolius, and yo, much uh, love again, man, for the Shadows of the Empire, dude. Oh, man. That game is my childhood right there. Oh, it's gonna be here by Wednesday, Bean Jr.? Yo, enjoy it, man. It is a good controller. Yes, sir. Banks learned a valuable lesson that day. They, uh, the lesson was, can't be lucky forever, so don't even try to yellow everything. And two, uh, Ivysaur does more than 10 damage with Fine Whip. More than 10 damage. I don't know what the number is, I just know it's more than 10. The junior says, yeah, because of course I had to buy it on the weekends. Yeah, nah. I generally find myself buying things somewhere between Friday through Sunday. Just kind of how I do. It's like, well, gotta wait even longer. Alright, let's see if we can at least, uh, like, we're gonna lose time on this split. But let's just try our best to keep pace uh, throughout the run. You know, get that practice in. It's very important. Very, very important. Yo, as good as, like, Shadows of the Empire is, that Star Wars game on N64, why do we not have more Star Wars games? Like, especially, like, adventure ones, right? Because, like, right now, the only, like, Star Wars games, I believe, are just Battlefront 1 and Battlefront 2 from EA, right? Like, there's nothing else? I think maybe, like, a phone game, but... There's no, like, adventure Star Wars games like there used to be. <laughs> what is up with that? Why can't we have adventures in space anymore? I don't think it's right. I don't think it's how it was meant to be.
You gotta keep that cannon tight? Yo, <laughs> this is true, this is true. Yeah, the Star Wars cannon. I mean, I guess, but it's like... Legit, just give me a game that's like... You know how they do with like the Spider-Man games, or they used to do. Where it was like, supposedly just the same like, adventure as what happened in the movie, though there would be more villains and more random things to do. Why not do that with Star Wars? Why can't I play as, like, Rey, whatever her last name is, and, uh, you know, go join the rebel- oh, no wait, not rebels, they're the resistance? Whatever they are. Why can't I join them and fight Kylo Ren? That would be cool. Like, dude, oh man. I would, like, I'm just throwing this out there, but no, I would really, really enjoy that, actually. Like, being able to play as Rey, you know, you start on uh, Jakku, you have, like, the firefight, like, the initial escape there, maybe you have to fight a couple of the people on the planet, that, you know, are trying to steal that droid from you. And then, yeah, you go, you have your, uh, you have the firefight, uh, escape from there, then you meet Han, and you have to fight those guys that are chasing him, and the spooky tentacle monsters, or whatever those were. I can't remember what they were called. And then you go to that other place, and then you again you get to fight more stormtroopers maybe you, know, you could add some extra stuff in there or you know they kind of flesh out that planet a bit more that would be really cool and then yeah you get to go on the ship and then you get to escape from the ship and then afterwards you get the uh, battle of kylo ren at the very end like how cool would that wouldn't that be a good game tell me that wouldn't be a good game and uh, Bean Jr. says, wait, the Automod bot subbed? <laughs> yes, Automod bot is now subbed. This is very true. Alright, X accuracy. And then, uh, Horn Drill. You'd watch Ray fight the lizard in Shocker? No, yeah, no, that would be cool, man. That would, be, that would very much be cool. Trombone saying, hey, wait, Vinks. Were you there for, uh, was I there for your first PB? Uh, for your first one? I don't know. <laughs> your first PB. <coughs> I don't know, man. I was definitely... I remember watching your stream, like, way back in the day. When you were first doing any percent glitchless. But I don't think you were doing, um... If I remember right, you weren't doing full runs. You were doing, like, segmented runs. Because you were just, like, practicing a lot of things. <laughs> Your only PB. Nah, I don't think I was... Well, maybe? I've definitely been there when you finish the game. Yeah, I was definitely there... It wasn't like too long ago? Yeah, your recent PB? Yeah, I was there for that. I wasn't like super paying attention though. Like, I was falling asleep, but I had your stream on. And I was kind of watching in between like passing in and out. I lost so much time here, man. Dying to Ivysaur. OP. Bean Jr. saying, hmm, so I'm not the only one gifting subs to bots, it seems. Nah, man. No, sir. You know, Catrolius has been pretty crazy. I mean, he changed his name from Catrolius to Control Gift Subs. And yeah, he gifts a lot of subs. Oh, Poker Flute. You like those. And split. Oh, I didn't get my split. Gosh darn it. I forgot I had clicked on to OBS, and if you click on OBS, your buttons don't go through. You finally completed a run after almost a year tried? Yo, you did it, man. You did it. That's all that matters. All that matters, man. But you gotta, you gotta be happy with that. Like, oh my goodness. I mean, I think it was just your standards were like really, really high. Cause like, you definitely could have beaten the game, you know, like that. And gotten the time if you wanted to, but you wanted to, you know, have a good time for your first time. I believe that's what you were telling me. I remember right. I'm back in the old days. All your practice.
Um, let's see, Bean Jr. saying, uh, he is too cheap to donate, he's living out of a box on the street. Yo, by all means, anyone that is living in a box on the street, don't donate. <laughs> don't do that. Nah, take care of yourself, man. And I think it's really cool, you know, that you're showing up to my stream, even though, you know, times are really tough for you. Living in a box in the street. You know, I don't think your number one priority would be like, yeah, let me go watch this guy on Twitch. I think it would be like, you know, how am I going to stay out of the rain? But, nah, man. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I don't think V Jr. actually lives in said box. But, you know, the point's still there. Don't donate money you don't have. Never, ever do that. It's a bad idea. That box seems to have a good Wi-Fi, yeah. I would uh, suck if you lost your house. Oh yeah, for sure, man. That's a, it's a pretty terrible experience. I had a tree fall on my house once. That was, uh, that was pretty sad times. Not this house. House I was living in when I was much younger. Living with uh, uh, one of my ex-girlfriends. We were obviously dating at the time. And yeah, no, there was just really strong winds. And uh, after that, like, you know, the winds died down, it was just normal, a few days passed, and then bam, the tree just fell down. It was a gigantic tree, I can't remember how large it was exactly, but it split into three parts. The, uh, top of the tree was on top of the house. The middle of the tree, like, a large chunk of the tree, was, uh, inside of our kitchen. And then the bottom of the tree was still on the ground, but yeah. It was just really old. Oops, I did not... I did not go to the Pokemon Center like I was supposed to. Oopsie doopsies. Oopsie doopsies! I, uh... I don't know how I'm gonna make it out of here now. Uh... Growlithe? Yeah, we'll use the Elixir. Or no, the Aether? Oh, we'll use the Aether here. Not what I wanted, but work with what you got. You saw a tree fall in a house once? Yo, man, this stuff is lame, dude. Oh, so much money to fix everything. And, uh, Trombone's saying, and yeah, my high standards were holding me back from completing a run. I made the mistake of thinking I was a good Pokemon runner just because I had a couple of top 10 runs in the glitched categories. Gosh, you. I mean, yeah, it definitely depends on the popularity of the, uh, categories. For example, I have a world record in Sonic Mania! Oh, oops, that is not where I hit split. I have a world record in a game. In a modern game that is somewhat popular. But, it's like, it's a different category. Like, there's, there's like no one doing that category. Not for real, for real. Oh, oops, I was supposed to elixir there. That's fine, that's fine. I can elixir afterwards, just as good. Right, so, X accuracy. Oh, I only have two horn drills. I was supposed to bubble beam Cubone. I was supposed to bubble beam the Cubone. Whoops. 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 Um. <laughs> this is no good, man. I guess I'll bubble beam the Marowak just as good, right? Oh, critical hit. We take those. Yes, sir. Oh, your birthday's next month? Yo. Hope you have a good one, man. Alright, looks her up. Tenth Doctor saying there's a house behind ours that got struck by lightning, but it stood there as is for a while. And one day, you were outside, heard a really loud cracking sound, and saw it tip over their house. Uh, the house didn't get struck by lightning, the tree in the yard did. Got you, got you. Yo, man. Yeah, no, that stuff is the worst, right? Because, like, it was the same thing, effectively, that happened. Like, the winds were, like, destroying the tree, dude, because it was so old. But there was a lot of rot, and it was, you know, ever so slowly just pushing forward. And, uh, yeah, the strong winds were gone, then, like, a few days later, it eventually just, it couldn't, uh, support itself anymore, and the tree fell over. 
Yeah, it broke as it did. Yeah, just horn drill again. Uh, Tenth Doctor saying the weirdest thing was that the people inside didn't notice it until we went around to let them know about it. Yo, dude, nah, I noticed the tree falling onto my house as soon as it did. Yo, I can still remember it pretty vividly. I was sitting at my computer, I was playing World of Warcraft. I can't remember if I was in the middle of a raid or a battleground. No, I don't think I was in the middle of anything, because, like, I don't remember, like, interrupting what I was doing. But, like, I was playing World of Warcraft, and my girlfriend at the time was on the bed. Cause, like, she, you know, she was still lying down. I'd only woken up recently myself. Oh, whoops. I, no, 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 this is the right way. Yeah, my girlfriend's on the bed. And then, yeah, there's just this extremely loud noise, dude. So exceptionally loud. Like, it sounded like some sort of bomb or, like... I want to say grenade, but a grenade sounds so small in my mind, but I don't know what an actual grenade sounds like. But either way, it sounded like there was an explosion. Like, literally a bomb went off. Like, right outside of my room. And so I'm freaking out. I'm like, what the heck happened? You know, I'm checking on my girlfriend, making sure she's okay. And then I, uh, leave my room, and then, yeah, I see the tree in the kitchen, <laughs> just sitting there. Oh, bad times, man, bad times. It's not good. So, yeah, there's there's no way I could miss that. No, sir. Oh, whoops. I don't want to be in this place. I forgot to use the center in Celadon. I'll go ahead and do that now. Uh, Bean Jr. saying just two weeks ago there was a huge windstorm and there was uh, and you're without power for a day and a half. It sucked. <laughs> Yo, I bet so, man. That sounds pretty lame. <laughs> Throw a grenade at my house so I can hear what a grenade sounds like. Yeah, I've never actually heard a grenade in real life, no. I don't actually know. I'm just saying, man. It sounded like a bomb went off. When that tree hit my house. Never actually heard a bomb. But I'm sure that's what a bomb would have sounded like. <laughs> um and yo, and Nur is saying. Well it's back into the stream, a bomb went off outside my room. Now uh we were talking about uh, trees falling on the houses. Cause like uh back when I was much younger. I was uh, living with my girlfriend, and uh, like we were in our room, right? We were in our room, minor own business. I was playing World of Warcraft. Uh, my girlfriend was on the bed. She was just chilling. Like I think she was still asleep. Yeah, I think she was still asleep. I can't remember exactly. But yeah, I believe she was still asleep. And then there's this huge, ridiculous crashing noise, dude. It sounded like a bomb had gone off right outside my room so yeah i checked on my girlfriend he was fine you know she's freaking out i'm freaking out and i'm like okay let me go see what this is you know i go outside my room and yeah there's just a tree in the kitchen or well a piece of a tree it wasn't the whole tree it was like probably about i don't know six seven foot across just you know what do you call that? Because it, it wasn't the top of the tree, it wasn't the base. It was just like the center part of the tree, because it broke into three pieces. It was, uh, it was not super cool. It really wasn't. Because, yeah, there was glass all over the kitchen, because it broke the, um, the glass door. Alright, what am I looking for? I want to pee pee up, that's what I want. Yikes, yeah, it was, it was pretty scary. Pretty scary. It was all good. Nothing bad happened to anybody. Dude, man. It would have been real bad, though. It would have been real bad. Like, I don't know if the tree could have gotten through the wall. No, I don't I don't think the tree could have gotten through the wall as well as it did the glass door. I think the tree only was inside of my kitchen because it was breaking through glass. Which, you know, isn't as hard to do as, like, say, the actual walls. It's like, it put a dent in the roof, but it's not like it broke through the roof. I mean, the roof was partially destroyed, yes, but... 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Repairing houses is not any fun. But yeah, ever since that point in time, or not ever since, but for a good portion of time, I was deathly afraid of trees. Because I was like, I was like, you know, if I had been in the kitchen when that tree fell, I'd probably be dead. And I was like, that's that's not a fun thing to think about. I didn't mean to throw a safari ball at that doduo. But yeah, like I was deathly afraid of trees for a while, which is like a weird fear. You know, it's like, ooh, trees. W didn't I use a super repel? I didn't reuse it. That's why I'm running into these Pokemon. I wasn't thinking because I was too busy saying my stupid story about trees. What do you call a happy farmer? I don't know. Um... I got nothing. But yeah, no, like... There was a lot of places that, like, I would go to and, like... I just couldn't, I couldn't relax, I could not chill. I'm like, nah, I can't, I can't stay in this place. There's too many trees. And they're like, how are you? Oh, oops, I forgot the gold teeth. Like, how are you, a grown adult, afraid of trees? Like, look, man, if you nearly died to a tree, you'd probably be afraid of trees, too. Hey, Jolly Rancher! Yep, no, that makes sense. I like that. I mean, I'm not afraid of trees anymore, but I used to be. For a good time. Whenever I stream, it's like a little story time every time. I mean, now and then, yeah, I do like to tell stories. Like if it if it naturally comes up, I'll just I'll just go into something. Oh man, I'll tell you what was the worst, dude. There's this place where we were doing like a live action replay thing with like a bunch of dudes, and so like it's a live action replay, so we were actually role playing in a forest. I was like, I cannot do this. Just surrounded by trees everywhere, dude. No, thank you. It was too soon. Far too soon, man. Couldn't do it. But yeah, no, my girlfriend was very understanding at the time. Like, again, ex-girlfriend. She was my girlfriend then. But, um... Or wait, were we dating then? I don't know. We, we had a, like, on and off thing for a while. But, uh... But yeah, no, like, she was understanding. She wasn't afraid. Like, she did not have any fear of trees whatsoever. Even though, like, because, like, at the time, it's so funny, right? Like, at the time... She's scared witless, and she did not want to go out of the room to, like, see what the sound was. But, like, I was like, I have to go see what the sound was. Like, this could still be an imminent danger. Like, I should go see what that was. But, you know, then fast forward, like, a couple of months. I'm afraid of trees. Like, I don't like standing anywhere next to trees. And then she's like, yeah, it's, they're just trees. It's whatever. I'm currently dating the stream. I am dating the stream. Like, this stream and me, we're just... We've been together for a while now. What's it been? It's been like two and a half years? Yeah, actually, no, it's been longer than that. It'll be like three years once we hit, um... September. We'll be dating this stream for three years, man. Very steady relationship. I don't know, this is, this is definitely what I put all my time into. Like, uh, I definitely noticed that when I was, uh... Like, not the same girl, but the other girl I did it. Like, I definitely noticed that. Like, what my problem is is I'm a very selfish person. Well, like, it's weird, right? Like, I consider myself selfish. But, like, what the thing is is if I'm in a relationship, I will put everything to the side for that person. Like, it doesn't matter what I want to do. If they need my help or, like, I'm just trying to make sure they have a good day or whatever, then I'll put everything I have to the side and do whatever for them. They're like, hey, could you uh, walk to this place that's like, that'll take you like an hour to get to to hand me this thing I forgot? I'll do that. I have done that. <laughs> I've walked an hour to give someone something they needed that they forgot. Like, I'll do that. That's, that's easy. I mean, it's not, you know, my favorite thing in the world to do, but it needed to be done, so I did. But uh, yeah, I'm always willing to put things I want to the side to help my significant other. But, it's, I really personally enjoy it, and I, again, I don't know if it's just the relationships that I had, but I personally just really, really enjoy, um, yeah, use the elixir here. Really just enjoy doing my own thing. I really do. I like to, uh, cause like, at the time, that's when I was working for, uh, I was working for this place as a games journalist. 
And so I loved being a games journalist. I loved, you know, meeting these people. I loved, um, also I was like, you know, heavy into like the competitive scene for like Smash Brothers. So like, where I was spending all of my time when I wasn't with uh, my girlfriend was doing my game journalism, like meeting all these like, you know, gaming industry experts, uh, going to all of these tournaments, meeting people from around the world that are like the best at this game or the best at that game. Um, I was also working on my own game at the time. Like I did that whole uh, thing with the Barrett and Spirit Detective, which I really, really enjoyed. But yeah, I was doing a lot of my own stuff. And that's like honestly where I was having the most like fun, where I was enjoying myself the most versus my relationship, which again, like I, uh, you know, really, really cared for her like quite a bit. Like, don't get it twisted. Oh wait, where am I supposed to go? Yeah, Pallet Town, I was supposed to move that. Like obviously, you know, relationships are great and all, but I don't know, I, I'm a pretty, pretty selfish person. I like to do what I want to do. That is what I am into. I need to teach you things. All right, so Super Repel, use that, and then teach these HMs. Teach them a three, and surf. There you go, buddy. Dash and Drew saying, all right, Banks, gotta dip out early tonight. Get that PB, yo, will do, will do. Oh, and you got me on Twitter? Nice, yo. <laughs> Thanks, man, I appreciate it. Oh wait, I'm also supposed to use rare candies. Excuse me. There you go. Oh, I'm I so don't have red bar though. Um I don't know what I can do about that. That's just kinda is what it is. Alright, so we got those levels and Squirtle. You could uh give me surf. Yep. Easy peasy. I don't know, it's it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain, man. Yeah, nah. Definitely, without a doubt. Like, I just enjoy myself. I enjoy the things that I like to do, and I don't really like to make compromises. I can, and I do quite often, but not my preference. I'm trying to think of like a way to like go back into red bar, but nah, I'm in. Oh, whoops! Why am I picking up a Carbos? I didn't need to pick that up. That was a mistake, but not a super costly one because I already picked up Carbos before, so didn't take up an extra slot in my inventory. Feels good, man. All right, use another super repel, and then team 14. Each blizzard to a Pokemon. Uh, hey Banks, do you have an auto splitter for this game? No, there's no auto splitter for Pokemon Red. No, sir. Which makes sense. People split in a lot of different places. I mean, I've definitely seen there are programs that people make to like help this game out, but I've never seen an auto splitter be one of them. No, sir. Alright, what do I need? Just pick this up. Why, right, it couldn't be possible? Oh, I'm sure it's possible. I just don't think anyone wants to make it. I don't think anybody wants to do it, man. No, sir. I wouldn't want to do it. That sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, the routes are always changing, man. It's not like super frequent, it's not like the routes changing every day. More like every two or three months. But that feels like a lot for, you know, an RPG as old as this one, man. Alright, so, Blizzard has 90% accuracy, therefore, I should land this attack 9 out of 10 times. And I land it once on this execute. 
Yo, SMO routing changes more often than you can remember? Yeah, that's fair, man. Yeah, there's just, there's so much to perfect in that game. But it makes a lot of sense. Alright, so that's execute. That's easy. You know, like, uh... I don't know, the only speed games that I play where, like, the route doesn't, like, just change would be the Mega Man X games. Like, as far as I know, the route hasn't changed for those games in a long time. But again, to be fair, those are 2D platformers. They're pretty short games, so it's pretty easy to get them, you know, in that optimal direction. Versus RPGs, man. RPGs and like a 3D platformer like SMO, so many options. Uh, Bean Jr. says, I think in my festival runs, use a safe sand route, which includes the employee's moon. Oh yeah? Yeah, nah, there's, like, that's the thing, man. Like, there's so many safeties you can use. And yeah, again, just so many moons. So many moons. Good luck being optimal. It's tough. Alright, so that was Erica. We actually didn't miss any blizzards, so that was cool. Alright, cut that down. And then... In a bar island. Uh, Bean Jr. says you should check out my run if you hadn't already when you get the chance. Yo, one day, man, one day. I've definitely been pretty busy. Pull off some pretty insane tech. Yo, nice, man. Yo, good on ya. Yeah, I don't really, uh, know too much about the tech in Super Mario Odyssey. I mean, I know about, like, the base movement. Like, you know, doing, like, your ground pound jumps and triple jumps and happy jumps and I don't know your dives and whatnot wall jumps into or no you happy jump and then you wall jump stuff like that but if there's anything like extra techy like no nah, I don't know any of that stuff man no sir I have not watched the world record for Super Mario Odyssey I was gonna say in a long time but actually I think the answer is never yeah, I don't think I ever watched, like, the two-hour world record, like, way back when it, like, first came out. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, I remember people were posting about it all the time. I'm like, I'm not gonna watch the world record for Super Mario Odyssey. The game just came out. There's no way it's even that good. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to be mean to, like, the day one world record holder, but there's a lot of people that, you know, have really good times that aren't submitting times because they know it's just gonna be beaten very quickly if people are still figuring out the game. And then, you know, fast forward to today, I still haven't watched it run, and it's like, there's so many tricks in there now. Yeah, what's the world record now? Like, an hour and three minutes, I think? Which is obviously 57 minutes lower than the world record I initially didn't check out, so... Probably, probably do that at some point. Do that, uh, big metro skip with that building at the beginning? Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, that's good stuff right there. Alright, X Accuracy turn one. Earthquake. Alright, we have plenty of earthquakes. We're in a good spot. In a good spot. Oh, I'm still salty I died. At a uh, Poke Flute. I shouldn't have done that, man. Shouldn't have done that. Alright, that's plain. Alright, so I'm 5 minutes 43 seconds behind. Uh, that's a little bit. That would, um, put me at what? 202? Yeah, a high 202, almost 203. The best possible time, apparently. Still 2 hours. There's like, what, three minutes to save? That's interesting. Very interesting. 
I don't know where all that time is. Let me see if I can get a little bit of it though. That would be cool. I mean, I know a whole minute, a whole minute of it is at Agatha, but like Agatha's never chill. She does not like me. Speaking to people that don't like me, here's Sabrina. Yeah, nah, man. This is a bad run. She won't, she won't body me. Only on good runs. Alright, alright. <laughs> we didn't gen one miss here, so. Didn't lose to Sabrina, that's always nice. I don't know how I'm supposed to save time on that split. There's like, I don't know, 8 or 10 seconds to save there? According to my splits? I don't know if that's accurate. I haven't saved there. And Saved any time there in a long, long time. <laughs> no, sir. I mean, it's so straightforward. Oh, whoops. Alright, let's not do anything dumb and let's not die here. That would be nice. I don't know, like, I don't have any more, like, major time losses. And, well, I don't really have to worry about this guy. Like, normally, you know, it's like, oh, he can knock you out, one karate chop, but it's like, not in red bar, so I have the HP for once. Not that that's a good thing. <laughs> not really. Yeah, no, nah, use focus energy. Yo, he's always gonna be nice to me in a bad run. He can only be mean to me in a good run. How it works. Pretty sure. And you, Swilaha, saying sup, dude? Yo, nothing much, man. Playing that Pokemon Red. Trying to finish this run. Move into another one after it. Yeah, that's my first run in like six days, I think. Or no, it's been seven days. It's been the whole week. So, uh. I mean, I'm not as rusty as I figured I would be. Not as bad. Where is my elixir? Did I go past it? Oh yeah, it's right there. Bad at the video games. Yeah, definitely not doing as bad as I thought I would be doing, but still a little bad. The death at, uh, Pokemon Tower was very costly. Alright, so for this fight, it is four earthquakes, and then you just blizzard right on. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Yeah, I wonder if Giovanni's gonna be in Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. I'm not sure if everybody knows about those. But apparently they're like the new Pokemon games that are coming out for Switch. Which is like a Pokemon Yellow remake, or sequel i don't know like supposedly according to the leaks and rumors gonna take place after yellow but be similar where you get to choose pikachu or in the eevee version i guess you get eevee yeah apparently it's gonna be like 20 years have passed or something like the red and green that we saw in sun and moon are supposed to show up in this new game 
I don't know if Red's still the champion. Yo, how cool would that be if Red is still the champion, you know, 20 years later, dude? Like, you get to fight the champion that was you. Oh, that would be so cool. That would be so cool, dude. Uh, Swell is saying, I heard they might be main series games. That's pretty crazy. It would be on Nintendo's main console. And Red is still 10. Yo, he better not be 10, man. He wasn't 10 in Sun and Moon. He's like supposed to be like 20 or maybe like... I think he was like 28 or something. I don't know. I don't remember if they aged him year for year. Uh, what am I looking for? Not Pokemon. I'm gonna super repel. Then hop on your bike. That's what you want. But yo, if Red's still 10, that would be very, very silly. But no, man, I don't know how where they want to take that. Because I didn't play Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. I only played Sun and Moon. But apparently in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, at the end of the game, Lily and her brother go to the Kanto region. That's what I've been told. Like, I haven't played the game, so I can't, like, say this for a fact. But apparently they went to the Kanto region. So it would make sense if they're like there in the new game. Let's go Pikachu. Let's go Eevee. I'm guessing like one of them will be your new rival. Probably what's her face? Lovely Lily. I mean I thought she was a cool character. Curious what she oh wait, no, not Thunderbolt Vinks. You wanted to use Blizzard. Blizzard's the one that has a chance to one hit. Thunderbolt's just a Thunderbolt, but since we're already here. Bye, Pidgeot! See you later. Then Rhyhorn, you blizzard, because we X accuracy, so it's a 100% chance to hit. You not miss. Yeah, I'm hoping, man. I'm hoping that, like, because it's weird, like, I want the old gym leaders to still be in the Kanto region. Like, I want to be able to, like, talk to and battle. Uh, Brock and Misty and all of them, but at the same time, I do want new gym leaders. Which, I mean, would make sense, because, like, they're all older now, right? Like, if red and green, or blue, whatever you want to call them, if they're all older now, then clearly, you know, they've moved on to do other things. Or at least most of them. Like, and Blaine was already kinda old in the original red, so... He's gotta, you know, not still be the gym leader. Gotta be somebody else. Isn't, uh, Flannery related to... Blaine? I think she is. Yeah, Flannery and Hoenn version from the, like, Ruby Sapphire games? I think she's related to Blaine, but I don't remember. So... I oh, don't know, that'd be interesting if she showed up. Even though she's a gym leader in a completely different region. I don't know, maybe she could be the gym leader for both. <laughs> I'd be cool with that. Oh, why am I not on my bike? Silly me. Or maybe it'd be like another family member? Maybe Blaine's son or... As, I don't know, some other relative. I mean, even then, it doesn't have to be a relative thing. I just think it would be kind of cool if it did something like that. Pass here only if you have the soul badge. I do. I do. So I need to use a super repel when I land here, because it's like... Right, yeah, bicycle first, then super repel. Yeah, I was about to run out. Should have I? Should I have done the bicycle first? Because I have to get back on the bicycle. I also have to super repel again. But yeah, the super repel is going to be later. Yo, yeah, menuing's hard. Alright, Squirtle, if you can show me your true power. Push around boulders. Yo, just because he's a tiny turtle Pokemon doesn't mean he doesn't have true strength.
I'm just curious, man. Like, they do Kanto again. You'd have to put Johto in with it too, right? Because the league for Kanto and Johto is the same league, isn't it? It's the same Elite Four, it's the same champion. I don't know, I think it would make sense. And like, if it's, you know, the first Pokemon game on home console for the main series, they gotta, they gotta give it a little extra, right? They gotta give it a little extra, I would think. Bye, Moltres. See you later, Moltres. Yo, if y'all guys didn't notice that Pokemon there, that was the legendary fire flying Pokemon Moltres in all its beauty. It's a, it's a legendary Pokemon. If you missed out on seeing it, then, uh, feels bad to be you. Not everybody gets to see Moltres. You gotta get your eight badges, you gotta come here through the Victory Road, which you gotta be careful. It's very strong and peril powerful Pokemon here. Like level 40 something Onyxes. There's Golbats, there's Machokes out here. Nah, man, you gotta be real good Pokemon trainer being Victory Road. Make it this far. Yeah, if we wanted to catch Moltres, we'd go down that ladder right there. Like, for some reason, I remember getting Moltres as being, like, this really hard puzzle, but it's like... <laughs> no! No, it's just a detour. Just a detour. Very easily get Moltres just on your way to Victory Road. No problems. Super Repel, use the second one just to fix the menu. Unlock the power of a Squirtle. Push the boulder. It would be so good though to play a game, right, where you can get 16 badges again. And it would be so weird, because, like, we've had, uh, you know, gold and silver, or we've had heart gold and soul silver, where you get Johto and then Kanto. To do the inverse would be so interesting. <laughs> Did we see Moltres? Yeah, Moltres was there. You weren't paying attention, though. That's up to you. You tell me, Cyclone. Did you see the Moltres? Did you? Do I need to buy some full restores? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that for the safety. Like, I generally don't need them, but every now and then Agatha decides to be really, really mean. <laughs> you just arrived? Yeah, no, so you didn't get to see the Moltres. Rest in peace, Cyclone. You missed out! But that's okay. There will be more runs, there will be more Moltreses. Always chances in the future. Ah, uh, it looks like I'm gonna lose a lot of time on this split. I don't remember doing anything that should cause me to lose a lot of time. But looking at the numbers, looks like I'm about to lose a lot of time on this split. What did I do wrong? Did I do anything wrong? Oh yeah, no red bar. <laughs> no red bar. Makes uh, the rival fight a lot slower. It's gonna make this fight a lot slower too. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Gosh darn it. It is what it is. How does red bar make it faster? Um, essentially when you're at low health and it makes that beeping noise, the beeping noise cancels out, uh, certain interactions with the game. Like, this level up for example, it'll say A grew to level 51, and like, the text stays on that, uh, the text stays there for a while until the jingle completes, and then you can move on to the next, uh, row of text. But, if you had red bar, 
Instead, it'll either completely cancel out the jingle sound so you never hear it, or you might hear part of it. It's kind of weird the way it's programmed. It works kind of awkwardly. But either way, where it says A has grew to level 51, I could instantly hit A and move on to the next text. So, um, and it's the same way with just like the Pokemon coming out. Because it's like, uh, this Onyx, for example, he's gonna make a noise when I defeat him. He's gonna do his growl, right? And when it does, I'm not going to be able to move the text. Or, well, no. I must be thinking of something else. But yeah, when they come out, when they first pop out, they make their noise. And you can't do anything about it. It's like, uh... Pokemon Growls get skipped. Level Up Jingles get skipped. And it just makes the fight quite a bit faster. It doesn't feel like a lot. But yeah, the game's a lot faster with Red Bar. So, it's, it's what you want. You want to have the beepy noise. Fortunately, I do not have it. I normally do, normally at this part of the game, but uh, yeah, no, nah, I got thrown off route because I died in the Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town. I ended up having a lot more HP afterwards than what I normally would have. Um, what's my HP at right now? I mean, I know it's high, but no way it's high enough for this fight. <laughs> no, 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 we gotta heal for Agatha. Alright, let's see how nice Agatha wants to be. There's a minute to save here. There's a minute to save on this split because of how trolly Agatha can be. But we'll see, man. Like, her default is somewhat trolly. She's normally at least a little bit trolly. We're gonna X special turn one. Confuse Ray, that's not the best. Got the Earthquake though. Cause yeah, no, nah, if Gengar... Gengar puts us to sleep, that's a pretty massive time loss. Confusion, you know... Only a chance it'll be a bad time loss. <laughs> like when you hit yourself in Confusion. Alright, don't use Haze though, okay Golbat? I hit myself in confusion again. For Sonic, doesn't matter, I'm still confused. Hit myself in confusion three turns in a row! Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, I don't think we're saving a lot of time here on Agatha. It doesn't look like it. Wasn't meant to be. Like, you just... That's, that's why it's so hard, man. Because it's like... You're not guaranteed to hit yourself in confusion just because you're confused. You're not guaranteed to ever be confused in this fight. You're not guaranteed to be put to sleep. None of these things are guaranteed. They're just possibilities. But yeah, each Gengar gets a chance to really mess me up. But yeah, if they use just Dream Eater, man, you're good to go. Dream Eater does no damage, no status effects. And then you win that you win the fight with that Pokemon. Yeah, we saved 33.4. Not the worst. Just goes to show how bad my PB Agatha is, man. That is a completely free time save. Completely free. 33 seconds, even with the, um... Triple hit yourself in the face confusion. Alright, Elixir up. Super Potion. And then save just in case we get destroyed by Gyarados. Yeah, Gyarados has a chance to just outright one-hit me. His Hydro Pump has a 20% chance to miss, a 16% chance to crit. If he gets that crit, dude, I die 100% of the time. And I have to reset. There's, uh, there's no, there's no outplaying the Hydro Pump. No, sir. comes the Hydro Pump, and it is going to not knock me out. Good stuff. And <laughs> not this time. Gyarados clearly can only knock me out in a good run, not in a bad run. Alright, Blizzard the first Dragonair. X speed on the second one. Yeah, I level up to 54? No? No? Am I experience off, or am I just misremembering? 
We saw Gunner lose a world record to Hydro Pump. Yo, man, that's the worst thing about this game, dude. You can be on world record pace. Not that I'm good enough to do that, but you could be on world record pace and lose the run to a 16% chance Hydro Pump. It is what it is. Yo, man. I can only imagine the soul. I can only imagine it. I mean, I've been salty. I've lost PBs. Like, um, I think I still PB'd off of losing to Gyarados, but it was like, it was like a two second PB. And it was like, it wasn't that big of a deal. But I've never like outright lost a run to, uh, Gyarados yet. No sir. It'll happen eventually. The better I get at this game, the more Gyarados is gonna mess me up. I've lost the PB to, um, the Black Belt in Giovanni's Gym. Like, I was, like, a minute plus ahead, like, a minute 30 or a minute 40 ahead, and I just got karate chopped. <laughs> I was like, oh, there goes all that time. I've also been a minute ahead at, uh, Sabrina twice, and she has, uh, I've gen one missed on her, and then she knocked me out. GG. Whirlwind, that's not gonna do it. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna be getting that, uh, 203, man. But hey, man, 203, that's not too bad. That's below average for me, I believe. Let me check that. Let's see. Yeah, my average is 206. We are on really good pace compared to average, so that's good. That's good. I'm happy to see that. I'll bring that 206 down a little bit. Yeah, 206.44. wonder how low it'll go. 206.44. Dude, if this fight's in the new game, man, I will be so hyped. I want to fight red or blue. Like, because they could really do that. They could have either one be the champion, depending on the version that you play. That would be so cool. You could choose Heyu Pikachu, and Blue's the rival, or Heyu Pikachu. I mean, um, let's go Pikachu. Yeah, let's go Pikachu. Blue's the rival. Let's go Eevee. Red's the rival. Or not the rival, but the, um, the champion. Because I think the rival's going to be Lily from Sun and Moon. That'd be so cool. But, even with gems, I do hope they somehow incorporate, uh, totem Pokemon into the game again. I really enjoyed those fights. I thought they were really cool. But, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, 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 Professor Oak. Just put me in the Hall of Fame already, would ya? Darring! Nitto King, level 56, Poison Ground, Hall of Famer. And guest starring. His Spiro, level 7, Normal Flying. He was such a wonderful little guy. Think of all the things he did. Oh, I see me! See, the playtime's two hours, guys. See, it says it right there. We have lots of you look for Pokemon in grassy areas. And that's it, 203. 27. <sighs> <laughs> You're not the greatest run in the world. I've definitely had better runs. But uh no, this is this is where we start, man. This is where we start. We'll just have to do better on the next one. But yo, give me uh just a little bit, I'll be right back, and then we will do another run.
Yikes, I have returned. 